guys, um, it's been ages since I posted something, it is like midnight at the moment and I have been so busy, I haven't been home to be able to do anything, like I'm going back out again tomorrow so I thought this is the only time I'm going to be able to film this because what I want to show you is already over a week old but um, it's a bit insane. I had my first GIC appointment and uh, I did it all like videos because I'm sad like that but I wanted to do something and uh, so I guess here it is. Okay so I'm just waiting for my train. Um, it should be here in about nine minutes. Um, I'm really scared like I, I don't know what to expect but um I'll keep you updated. So, mm. okay. So I'm on the train now. I have this coach pretty much to myself, so I can just talk, which is nice because I want to document this. Um, <laughs> document me freaking out on a train. Uh, but um, I'm feeling a bit more excited now, but still, still kind of freaking out. Um, thank you, train. Um, but yeah, no, this is all exciting and people are probably going to get on my coach now, <laughs> so I'm going to go and probably film some naturey stuff and put some edgy chill music behind it or something. I am like an actual lost puppy in London. I hate this. I hate getting the tube. It's evil and sets my anxiety off. But um, I'm getting there and I seem to be on time so that's nice. <laughs> Help. Okay so I'm just about to get off the train. I'm on my way home. Um, but basically I could be on testosterone in 10 weeks. Which is not what I was expecting to get out of today. Um, I will explain more. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Thank you, train. Um, but I will explain more when I'm home. So, yeah. I can't believe it. So, now I'm here to explain more now that I am home. <laughs> Finally. Honestly, there's not really much else to say. I just said that because I was filled with adrenaline and like, ah. But basically, the person that I saw was really kind. They did, um, like a general kind of mental assessment and like a background of everything. Um, they were very straightforward, like, um, with things I had to do. Like, one thing she, she was like, you need to get on top of your diabetes, otherwise you can't get it. And I was like, okay, fair. So, I have been looking after myself a lot more, which is which is very good. Um, it's like that motivation that I needed, to be honest. But yeah, um, things are g <laughs> going, looking up, you know? I already have um, an appointment booked for um, next year, sometime in February, um, for an assessment for top surgery, so I could be getting top surgery sometime next year. <laughs> which is insane. This has all gone a lot faster than I thought it would and as much as I am grateful I'm also just like slightly overwhelmed like really like I feel like I should be doing more waiting but at the same time I'm obviously just like yay so I'm not really complaining um I had heard that GICs were planning to do like a new kind of appointment system and there's a new way of things and whether this is the right way of doing it is another thing altogether. But um, right now I'm just, I'm happy, I'm content, and just 
excited for the future, so, um, next video is probably gonna be an important one. Also, a really quick, uh, also late, um, happy Trans Day of Visibility. It recently passed, and, um, I just want everyone to know that I love you loads, and even if you can't be out, I still love you, and that's okay. Make sure that you're safe. Um, and that's the main thing. Safely bind, safely be out. Don't come out if you don't think you're going to be safe. That's something I really want to like emphasise because your safety is very, very important um, to, to many people, including myself. So I hope that you're all doing great and um, yeah, I guess I'll see you next time.